IAC is a small, independent and global hub of visionaries. Um, and of course it is based in Barcelona, a perfect place to host all those activities. We started as a very small school of architecture, but, but very ambitious. And in a very short time we became uh, one of, one, actually one of the protagonists of this city. Here it's actually very embedded in kind of the realities of urban life and in the environment as well. Advanced architecture is the architecture of the future. It's what's not traditional architecture. It's architecture that is designed with new technologies, with new software and new fabrication tools. IEC is a complete organization where you can experiment with help. At IAC, we are developing postgraduate and master programs related with advanced architecture and city and technology. Our goal is uh, basically to prepare the new change makers that both uh, the discipline of architecture, the discipline of urbanism, as well as the communities need. The Master in Advanced Architecture works with five select research lines, working from a more territorial scale to a more, let's say, material scale. On the territorial scale, we work in the research line Intelligent Cities Emergent Territories, proposing uh, visionary possibilities for the future of our cities. There is then the Self-Sufficient Buildings Research Line that focuses on from the urban building to the urban block and understanding how these can work as a system. To get to knowledge, you need to go through a strong experience of prototyping, making and encouraging technology to produce an added value, which we think that has to be targeting what is global warming. The target is to be on top of corporate industries so that we are leading to this new way of doing architecture, producing a new sensibility towards empathy. We then go towards a more material scale with digital matter intelligent constructions that understands on a material scale how architecture can become responsive and programmable. We are putting on the table questions of uh, whereas architecture should be as static as we have been uh, building it the last um, uh, years and we are working on material nanoscale with material and artificial intelligence so that we will be able to program our buildings and cities. Uh, finally, the last two research lines are advanced interaction, understanding how you can implement in information technologies into your everyday lives. And then finally, design with nature, so understanding how you can uh, work with nature and advanced technologies for our future habitat. Design with nature, uh, try uh, to work in a metabolic process. We understand the design like a metabolic process, but in a real place, in the Colserola Mountain here, close to Barcelona. We are um, working uh, in different scales, from the material uh, nanoscale to the buildings design, from sensors to master plans, from bits to geography. At the same time, we are surrounded by experts that are coming from different disciplines. We are working very closely together with um, engineers, with programmers, with biologists. We are trying to learn from the other disciplines and we consider that um, uh, the architecture that we need for the present and for the future is the one that needs to mix the expertise from the different disciplines. Uh, FabLab Barcelona is part of uh, IAC, the Institute for Advanced Architecture of Catalonia. At some point the Institute uh, needed to have in the house a set of tools to help the students not only develop their projects, but to engage in, 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 in research. FabLab Barcelona is the first established Fab Lab in the European Union in uh, 2007. It's probably the largest Fab Lab in the whole region, and uh, since then, we are not only part of the Fab Lab network, but, but actually we are, uh, you know, we're trying to nurture the growth of the network. Uh, all of the knowledge that is being developed in the, into the Fab Lab is being used by the students. Students of the, of the Institute 
um, they use this technology, so, so they have incredible means, they have incredible robots, they have incredible uh, digital uh, fabrication technologies available. We are basically helping to make this uh, dream of digital fabrication for everyone possible. One of the main EAC's commitment is to merge basic research with applied research through our educational programs, but as well through our research project. At EAC, we materialize our ideas. We are interested in to uh, test the one-to-one -one scale and the challenge of the, of the house itself, which is not a pavilion. No? It's something that has to respond to the climate, uh, the, the weather, the water, the energy. So it has much more requirements than a pavilion and is the real uh, challenge for the architecture, not the house. Another, another project we've been invi invited to participate together with the other School of Architecture, it has been the Torre Baron um, self-sufficient prototype, on which uh, we, the City Council had a, a plot in Torre Baron, which is a very complicated neighborhood of Barcelona, and each school had to present a proposal uh, for self-sufficient prototype. So this was uh, especially interesting to us because we have been uh, uh, we have a, a small tradition of uh, solar houses uh, that we've built uh, one to one scale that have been such as la, the Fab Lab house or the Endesa pavilion or the Fab uh, condenser. Lately we have been uh, investigating additive manufacturing in the architectural scale, uh, in particular through three research projects. The first material was looking at anti-gravity 3D printing for architecture. Uh, the second, mini builders, where a team of researchers uh, developed a swarm of robots that work together to print large-scale structures. And the third, PILOS, uh, working with natural materials towards the development of 3D printing in architecture. <laughs> One of the most exciting aspects of IAC is actually uh, the IAC community. Uh, personally, I am an IAC alumni back from 2005, and um, I have to say that um, the IAC community is a strong community spread around the world. It counts with more than 700 students um, distributed in all the planet and more than 150 collaborators and faculty uh, that have been working very closely with IAC the last years. At IAC and, and, and here in the Fab Academy in Barcelona, we are not only delivering like or forming technicians or people with a technical knowledge, but actually it's people with some kind of a leadership and entrepreneurship. We, we continue in that direction, in, in part of something that is much bigger than, than Barcelona and projecting this, this personality that Barcelona has that is very strong into, into other parts of the, of the world. Yes, keep it, keep it.